gentlemen, prepare to start clapping because I just made a major drug bust. Talking about four kilos of cocaine, 200,000 cash, and my new partner. A tarantula. I call him Jake Jr., a.k.a. Spidey Klum, a.k.a. Mrs. Doubt Spider, a.k.a. Joe Spiden, a.k.a. Tarantula Bassett, a.k.a. Spide Dermot Mulroney. A.k.a. Tarantulina Jolie. What? No, Charles, have you seen the spider? That's a terrible name. Sorry. Why do you have that thing? Because they were going to throw him away, but I couldn't let them do that to my furry little... No, he's actually really scary up close. It's horrifying from everywhere. Terry hates creepy crawlers. Seriously? I'm not going to your apartment if that thing is there. All right, fine. Then he'll just live here and help me solve crimes. Get used to him, everyone, because me and this spider are partners for life. He's gone. I left the cage unlocked, and he's gone. Oh, somebody find him! Did they have the ground? I'm good. I'm out of here! He couldn't have gone far, unless he can fly. Can tarantulas fly? Jake, you better find that spider. And I'm not coming back here until you do! Uh, Sarge, I think I found it. <gasps> Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no. It's on my head! <laughs> Charles, this is exciting. Medal of Valor. I know. For getting shot in the butt. Oh, my God! For exceptional acts of heroism or voluntary risk of personal safety. But, you know, six and one. This is one of the NYPD's highest honors. Today is your day, Detective Boyle. Heroism can't be measured by a piece of metal. But what else can we do to recognize the brave officers that have put their lives on the line? It is my great honor to present the Medal of Valor to Detective Charles Boyle and Sergeant Peanut Butter. Oh my god, Charles is getting the same medal as a horse. At least Boyle was announced first. Because the horse outranks him. This is amazing. That's enough, Peralta. This is a huge honor, and nothing can take that away from him. The horse is pooping on the stage. Sergeant Peanut Butter is pooping on the stage. <laughs> the muggings were confined to Cabot Street. They began over two months ago. Just like this briefing did. Please go to charisma class. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry, Charles. No, Jake. Never apologize for making an amazing entrance. My power went out last night and my alarm didn't go off. Your alarm is power dependent? You brought this on yourself, son. Point is, it will not happen again. Carry on. Sorry I'm late, Sarge. No hot water this morning. But I'm here, ready to go. We'll cause no further distractions. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seriously? What is your excuse today? More bad luck. My car ran out of gas and then my clothes disappeared from the laundromat. I had to beg one of my neighbors to loan me some of his. You never told us Sinbad lives in your building. If Sinbad lived in my building, I would have a tattoo on my forehead that says Sinbad lives in my building. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And I'm a half an hour early. That's right. My string of bad luck has finally come to an end. Peralta, you failed your drug test. There were traces of cocaine and methamphetamines found in your urine. What? Help. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You gotta see this. I'm about to give Captain Holt his gift. Oh, did he lift his no gift policy? No, he didn't, but I figured out a way to buy him something and trick him into accepting it. You are bad. I know, right? Oh, wait, you're making fun of me. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't care. He would never open a gift, right? But what if his gift didn't look like a gift? He would open it? Exactly. I left it in a cardboard box on his desk. There's no card, just the words, open now, which I wrote with my wrong hand so he wouldn't recognize my handwriting. Captain. Santiago, Peralta. Sir. So, just to recap, you left an unmarked package on a police captain's desk on a random Monday with a suspicious message written on it that looked like it was scrawled by a crazy person. Mm-hmm. Bomb! There's a bomb! Everyone out! Let's go! Let's go! This is not a drill! Let's go! Great gift, babe. Hey, everyone. Sorry I'm late. So, what's this secret meeting all about? You guys know I'm not medically cleared for another week. It's not a secret meeting, Jake. It's an intervention. The tips have to go. What? Why? Jake, we're worried about you, and you look very stupid. Come on, guys. I think they're kind of cool. Retro. No, they're terrible. Amy, come on. You're digging the tips, right? No, I feel like I'm kissing vanilla ice. There was a time you would have jumped at that chance. They have to go. <laughs> All right, you guys got me. I did it as a joke. I kept them ironically. Pretty funny, right? <laughs> I'm just going to head out. Get out! No! Yeah! Yes, Terry! No! Oh, no! Okay, 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 stop, 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 stop. I'll admit it. 
I went too deep down there in Florida. At one point, I think, I forgot where the tip of me ended and the base of the tips began. Before we just chop them off, would anybody like to say some final words? No. That was one word that counts. Thank you, Rosa. Okay, I'm ready. Sorry I'm late, everyone, but trust me, it's worth it. Me and Jake are tip buds. What? No! no! You know what? I do see it. It's mm. bad. It looks bad. I can't believe they're waxing the floors and we're all stuck in here. I've never seen them do this before. They do it once a month. We've just never been on the night shift. I know. It's like we're being punished. We are for going to Florida. Oh. I don't listen to so much stuff you all say. Well, frankly, I pity the lot of you. You look out there and see a problem. I look out there and see an opportunity. I'm going to slide on that slippery floor all the way from Holt's office to the elevator. You're going to do the FBP. That's right, Rosa. I'm doing the full bullpen. <laughs> Sarge, what are the chances? I say zero. Oh, I mean, when Genevieve got me these suspenders, I thought I'd lean into it and go for the whole look, but I didn't want to step on your toes. That being said, you know what this means. Don't do this, Charles. Oh, it's already done. Gather around, y'all. It's time to play Who Wore It Best. I'd really rather not. Because you're a little chicken? Who wore it best? Who wore it best? Who wore it best? Terry. Terry. What? Come on! You should change, Boyle. <sighs> Not here!